April is organ donation month. Every 10 minutes, another person is added to the transplant waiting list. Following the death of her son, Cheryl Hazer wrote a book, Walking at the Speed of Light, reflecting on the process of grieving as well as champion, championing organ donation. I got to sit down with her and hear a little bit more about this. The book begins with the death of our youngest son, Josh. Josh died of brain injuries sustained in a rollover accident. He was our gentle giant. Very big guy, 6'8", 240, very warm and tender inside, absolutely adored little children, was a good friend to everyone around him, and very well loved. Hazer says that Josh was always a service-oriented person, and even after life, he continues to help others. Organ donation is what we call it, but it's so much more than that, and there were over a hundred people that were helped. One woman found relief from chronic, lifelong pain due to his vertebrae. A couple of people who didn't have to have amputations because of his young, healthy veins. Life Center Northwest, who facilitates organ and tissue donations, holds gatherings for donors and recipients. At one event, the Hazers were able to meet the man who now has Josh's heart. We were actually able to listen to that heart through a stethoscope. What an amazing moment. I first heard that heartbeat on a fetal monitor long before Josh was born. Hear that heart beating in another man's chest and to know that he had received life back. That man now lives a happy, healthy life with a little girl. And corresponds with us regularly and it's such a wonderful part of our lives and a part of the the coping process. I, I say the healing process a lot, but we don't completely heal from grief. In her book, she describes different types of grief. She also speaks about those who have helped her throughout her coping journey. But I touch on different aspects of light, and one of those is like stained glass window. There are people whom the light shines through. And she wants people to remember that although breaching the subject of someone lost can be painful, not speaking of them is worse. People need to talk about it and talk about the person. All of those things reminds us that their influence is still very alive in the world. So thankful for Josh and for the time that we did have with him. There is now a scholarship in Josh's name that helps tradesmen and tradeswomen as Josh himself was a skilled mechanic. Life Center Northwest can be reached at 877-275-5269 or for more inf information visit their website.